Hey everyone, I'm really excited about this one. We're going to be controlling two agents simultaneously with our voice. Let's just begin. Write a finance.py file. In it, have a function which downloads a company's stock information using its sticker symbol. Please write a browse.py file. In it, use Selenium and have at least three to five functions which demonstrate the power of Selenium. I make it like a showcase. Okay, so now they're working finance.py file is done simple so let's just ask please have more functions at least three more which a, a person who's interested in stocks might use make it advanced okay let's just see what happens there this other one is still working here we are done with the browse.py file it does have many functions using selenium let's just ask please now write browse underscore oop.py file and turn this browse.py file essentially into an object oriented programming format. Okay, let's see. It's doing, yeah, browse.underscore oop. Let's look at finance. So, yeah, it does now get dividends, get analyst info, so much more. Let's ask, please read speech underscore to underscore code.py file. Let's just see it reading. Okay, that's good. Now that it's read it, please write a summary of it in three bullet points into summary.txt file. Okay, and browse.oop has the same functionality, but this time it uses a class. Let's just ask this one. Please write a life.txt file and in it give 10 very inspirational life advice. Okay, let's see what it does. By the same time, we have the summary, the script functions, the record audio, transcribe the audio, the text, and convert the transcribe audio into Python code. This is the script we are using, by the way. It uses OpenAI for transcription code generation from the transcribe audio. It provides functionality to control the recording process through user input, uh, allowing to start stop. Yeah, we are actually starting and stopping by enter key. Live advice, here we go. Stay positive, work hard. You open the criticism, surround yourself with happy, warm, and genuine people. Okay. Let's see, surround yourself with happy, warm, and genuine people. Let's just say, please write a story.txt file in it. In it, write an inspirational story about uh, number four. Let's see what it does here. Okay, our story is being written. I, so we are using the speech underscore two underscore code.py file here. We're going to overview the code here in a moment. Code files for this project will be available at Patreon. Uh, while you're there, please check out some of my other projects at Patreon. If you do become a member, you have access to 120 plus projects such as Auto AGI. I'm thinking about incorporating this voice activation to Auto AGI as well. I think it's going to be uh, great fun. Okay, so our story.txt is written. Once upon a time, in what uh, four had something about him. Immense persistence for belief, never giving up, always giving his best. Okay, here is our story. So you can do all kinds of things with this one. It has three functions. It's a function calling agent, which is to be able to read, read, which is to be able to read file, write file, and list file. I actually made a mistake a little bit earlier. The file that we got summarized is the simpler file. We're going to talk about this one as well. Actually, let's just run that one too. This one uh, is similar, but it just writes code to a file. So that's why it's called generate code if you run this. You have to prompt it with code like code stuff, right? Please write a math.py file. In it, have five functions which uh, can do some interesting math calculations. This works similarly, but this one is simpler. This will be available at Patreon too. So the, the link to the Patreon will be in the description. This one doesn't have streaming responses. That's why we're not seeing anything, but the speech underscore agent does. And shortly, we're going to review the video, the code. Okay, I actually made a mistake. The speech to code uh, doesn't generate file names. It always writes to generate a code, and it actually did do that. Uh, my bad. That's why I was a bit confused. But anyway, let's try it again. So with this one, you don't have to specify a file name. You can say write five functions which deal with plotting using Matplotlib. Make it a learning experience. Comment the code heavily. Let's see what it does. So once it writes, it's going to appear here in uh, generate code. This one, like I said, doesn't have streaming responses. By the way, the requirements for this is pretty simple. It's OpenAI, term color, and Pi Audio. Yeah, okay, it did write it. It actually appends to the end of the file. 
Uh, I see plot simple, plot bars, plot scatter. It has some, it has doc strings and comments. So this actually appends, so you can keep talking to it and it'll keep appending. Like, please write a short story in a doc string about Python. Once once it writes it, you should be able to see it at the end of it, at the end of the generated code.py file. Here we go. I didn't, yeah, I did put in a doc string. There we go. Let's overview the code starting with the speech agent. This is the more complex one. Let me delete these files. So it's cleaner here. Anyway, the speech agent imports has its imports. Set your API key. We're setting a message limit using characters. Uh, I'm assuming four characters makes a token. So I'm roughly estimating 5,000 tokens here. The reason why I decided to go with character count rather than tick token is because tick token, when you pip install tick token, you also have to pip install a bunch of other packages. I think this suffices. Anyway, so we have some constants for audio recording. We start, we initiate a global variable to con control the loop, audio loop, initiate a conversation history. Then we have our functions, read file, write file, list file. This is what our agent is going to use. Feel free to add more functions here if you like. Then we check the content limit. This is the function which checks for the message limit, right? And it removes earlier conversation uh, histories. Handle function call function handles all our function calls from GPT record audio function actually is running the main we have a main loop but this is actually doing the front of the work here we go we recorded our voice then we save it to output that wave file then we call to whisper to get it transcribed this is very quick and then we're going to remove that after the fact we're going to be just writing this file temporarily then we have a GPT call function okay which has some function definitions for read file write file and list file and by the way i just learned that if you're if you have a function which takes in no argument in this case list files you write your function definition normally except you leave the properties dictionary blank and you, you don't have you need to have required also then we get our response with streaming true uh, and then we just get all our uh, streaming stuff done right here and then uh, if our function if, it's, if we have a function call we handle it here uh, we call the handle function call right okay and then this is our main loop we start the recording by pressing enter and then we uh, press enter again to stop it. And uh, we are using threading. So we are running the audio thread, recording thread in a separate thread. And we are joining it to make sure that we don't proceed until this process has been done. So this is pretty much it. Let's look at the other one, which writes code files to uh, generate a code.py file. It's, it's pretty much the same, except this is just simpler, right? We're not doing any function calling or anything like that. We just see this is our call, much more simpler. And once we receive our response, we look for the Python delimiters and just extract the code right there and write it to generate a code.py file. That's it. And this is our main loop. So I'm really excited about this one. Like I said, the code file will be available at Patreon. Uh, and if you are a patron, I really appreciate your support. Is uh, I spent all my days working on these projects. Hopefully you're enjoying them as much as I do. I, I want to expand on this. I'm going to combine this with auto AGI, uh, which brings me to my website. You can visit my website at www.echohive.live and uh, browse all my, all the videos that I have created, all the projects that I've made. It does a, it is a quick little search functionality. For example, if I search for auto, it's an instant search. And this is what I'm talking about. I have multiple versions of auto AGI, swarm auto AGI and uh, swarm auto AGI with superpowers, which, which is a special tool for swarming. So there's a, a lot of cool projects. You can watch them straight from here. These are all my YouTube videos. Check out their description. Find the code download links at Patreon. But yeah, if you're interested in agent stuff, please take a look at Auto AGI in my mind. I'm not saying this only because I built it. I really like the way this agent works. I think it just might be the best one. It's very really simple, easy to understand. You can expand on it. Anyway, yeah, I was really love this project. I was so excited about it. And yeah, please, feel free to make suggestions. Leave it in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.